certain weeks where you, you feel like you match up better, whether it's scheme or there's certain weeks whether you match up, uh, whether it's personnel better than other weeks. Um, there, there's no doubt about that. You know, you may have an injury at a position or two and that that position is where their strength is. Uh, there's a lot of things that that factor into it. Um, but to your point, that's that's the challenge, right? You got to be able to, um, you know, you got to be able to feel like you can line up and match up from a from a skill and athleticism perspective with an Ohio State one week, and then say you make it to the Big Ten championship like we did, and you play Wisconsin. That's a very different animal that that you're getting ready for, and you have to either have the depth and the diversity within your personnel to do it. I think you guys remember, you know, in the past, we would have Kevin Givens playing D tackle, and then we may play Wisconsin or someone like that and play Kevin that week at defensive end to get bigger, you know, to get bigger. Um, so either having the personnel to, to be able to make some moves like that, um, or obviously some scheme things that you're going to have to do different to put your players in the best position to be successful. No different than these teams that that um, play from a 4-2-5 shell. They're playing with a nickel almost predominantly on the field, and then you go play you know, a team that's going to try to play smash mouth football, and, and you've never played with a three linebacker on the field. Like, like I know that was a big discussion Saturday as we had those three linebackers on the field. Well, that made a ton of sense against Minnesota and what they do. So I think your point is a really good one, and that's, that's one of the complexities or, or the subtle things that's, that's, that's challenging, especially in a conference like the Big Ten, where maybe you have a little bit maybe more diversity um, in how people are built throughout our conference where a lot of conferences, you know, pretty much everybody's running a similar style throughout the entire conference. So I think that's that's a good question, and I think it's it's a fair one. Um, and that's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to build a team that that can do both, which which is easier said than done. Johnny McGonagall, Penn Live. Then we'll come here in the room. Hey James, how are you? Good, John. How are you, man? Good, good. You know, given what you have with Joey, Kalen, you know, Johnny, everyone in that secondary, is this the most confident you felt in a secondary going into a matchup with Ohio State, you know, who's, you know, historically in your tenure has had a really good quarterbacks and wide receivers and a good passing game? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about that because I hadn't really kind of thought about it, but I think your point is, is that, you know, maybe you could make the argument the strength of our defense, you know, is is in the secondary if you were ranking, you know, kind of all three levels. Um, that's that's a strength of ours for sure. We have a lot of confidence in those guys and we're going to need it. But I also know that these guys uh, are talented enough up front and at tight end and at running back that, you know, if you if you put too much of an emphasis on that, they can beat you the other way, too, by by running the ball. So. Um, they do a good job of being balanced. I think at the end of the day, you know, th their trigger man, you know, is what what makes them go. You know, um, he's the one that distributes the ball to all those different playmakers and and does a really good job doing it. Um, he throws on the run as well as he throws from the pocket, which is which is somewhat unusual. You know, again, you know, he's leading the Heisman race for a reason.